Let's get right to it. Time to get learning. You didn't think I was going to talk all the time, did you? In the near future, I'm going to be uploading the introduction to many of my courses from LogicBot. Now, it won't be the entire course, but it will give you a flavor of how the courses are structured and why you might want to enroll in LogicBot. I'll also group them in a way where you can watch all the material I upload for a given course. If you aren't familiar, a playlist in YouTube is nothing more than a group of videos that are related. For example, I'm going to start uploading the video for my course on Keras. Each video will be one lesson from the course. Thanks for watching. If you aren't subscribed, knock that out right now and have a great day. TetraFlow is a Python library for fast numerical computing created and released by Google. It's a foundation library that can be used to create deep learning models directly or by using wrapper libraries that simplify the process built on top of TensorFlow. The first iteration wasn't widely adopted as Google was hoping for. However, with the release of TensorFlow 2.0 with integrated Keras and eager execution, it's become the gold standard in the applied space for building deep learning models. In our example on screen, all the sundry components represent a graph. Add is a node which represents an addition operation. The numbers 2 and 7 are input tensors, and 9 is an output tensor. TensorFlow is an open source library for fast numerical computation. It was created and is maintained by Google and is released under the Apache 2.0 open source license. The API is nominally for Python programming languages, although there is access to the underlying C++ API. Unlike other numerical libraries intended for use in deep learning like Theano, TensorFlow was designed for both research and development and in production systems. It's used in RankBrain and Google and in the Deep Dream project. It can run on a single CPU system. It can run on GPUs, as well as mobile devices and large-scale distributed systems with hundreds of machines. Computations are described in terms of the data flow and the operations in the structure of a directed graph. The first component are the nodes. Nodes perform computations and have a zero or more inputs and outputs. Data that moves between the nodes are known as tensors, which are nothing more than multidimensional arrays of real values. The next component are the edges. The graph defines the flow of data, branching, looping, and updates to the state. Special edges can be used to synchronize behavior within the graph. For example, waiting for a computation on a number of inputs to complete. Lastly are the operations. An operation is an abstract computation, which can take input attributes and produce output attributes. For example, you could define an add or multiply operation. Now let's walk through a simple TensorFlow example. In this example, you're going to define two symbolic floating point variables, A and B. You'll define an expression that uses these variables, c equals a plus b. This is the same example used in the previous lesson when we introduced Theano. We then compile this symbolic expression into a function using TensorFlow that we can use later. Next, we use our compiled expression by plugging in some real values and performing the calculation using the efficient compiled TensorFlow code underneath the covers. Running our code prints the number 4, which matches our expectation that 1 plus 5 plus 2.5 equals 4. This is a useful example as it gives you a flavor of how the symbolic expression can be defined, compiled, and used. Although you've only performed a basic introduction by adding 2 and 2, you can see how predefined computations can be compiled for efficiency and how they can be scaled up into large vectors and matrix operations required for deep learning.